Mysteries of the Grave, Grave, Grave. All right. We're back with cinematic scenes. Yes, they're going to happen. We're going to find out. They take no time to visit. Their viewing is entirely optional. But he'll completely fuck There it is. Less poops. Down there, bottom right corner. Less poops. Oh. Lalu? Lalu? Oh, there's fucking... A storm is brewing, my brother. A big gay storm. With rough winds blowing from the east. The word of royal assassin has attempted to spread right from behind. I don't. The, the proletariat for confidence, the bourgeoisie are cowering. Won't be long before we have rioting. Oh, those are some evil looking motherfuckers. Let's and go then, behind this. A revolution! Let's go behind this counter and suck each other off. Yes. I don't think we need to do that. Yes. All right. So we have the library. Let, well, let's go to yeah. the library. Here for a little light reading, are we? I can't wait to find out that Juan Kedido is not actually a member of the royal family at all. No, he's the fucking private investigator. Don't eat poison pork. The other piece of advice, if we want to learn about a member of the royal family, we should hit librarians. Don't suck a poison cock. And then quit. Oh, wait, that makes sense. Say, fuck, I've been meaning to ask, since we're in the library and all, do you think there's a porn section at all? Like, Victorian erotica? If we're talking about 1848, I like the modern stuff. I was going to say modern because he's a lawyer, so he has to be on the modern, right? Mm. Wouldn't that be how the lawyer works? Yeah. Yeah. I like modern novels. Have you heard of The Three Musketeers? It ha has heaps of romance, intrigue, and action. And guess what? Women are minor characters. Hey, you know They're what? Minor. If it's got Harry Bush barmaids, I'm your man. So don't fucking patronize me. <laughs> of course I've read it. Despite the contrived narrative turns, I enjoy the novel's snatching, yeah. scathing critique of our current social... Look, I just like well, I like vaginas. I don't I don't that's know. That's an what you interesting insightful review. Wait a minute. You memorized the single sentence that sounded well read, didn't you? Uh fuck off. Would you be sure as my lowering your voices? I can hear you squawking from the other side of the building. Ah, my apologies, monsieur. We'll keep it down. I've never met a mincing donkey before. Wait, are you a librarian? An astute observation. Yes, monsieur, and the only quiet person in the library. I am most assuredly the librarian. Well, now that we have your attention, my friend wants to ask you something. I do? Oh, right, I do! Spanish monarchy. Tell us about Don Quixote. So I didn't pretend I read. Also, yeah. You seem like a scholarly, well-read individual. Are you up to date on geopolitical news and the like? I don't need your praise. Spit out whatever imbecilic question is at the back of your throat. Like a camel. Oh well, we need to understand the Spanish throne is currently in dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on the contenders? What a trivial question. Even an elementary school child can meet, name the immediate heirs of every throne in Europe. Bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, but for the sake of those children who slept through class, can you refresh our memories? Hmm. Very well. Pay attention, because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen Regnant Isabella uh, II to House of Bourbon, the daughter of King Ferdinand VII. Upon her death, the crown will likely fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke of Cadiz. Although it is quite possible that an immediate family member was, could stake a claim. However, the Queen's position is currently being disputed by the Carlists, headed by the Count of Montemelon. I hope that answers your question. Did you catch all of that, Sparrow Son? Not a word. Monsieur, we're actually interested in Prince Juan Quesadillo of Spain. Do you? I don't think I've heard the name in your explanation. Prince Juan Querido? Is that what you said? Monsieur, I think you've been misinformed. There's no current Prince of Spain. 
I'm not even sure Querido is a real name. It's certainly not a line of any Spanish monarchy. How strange. Does this mean that Juan is actually um Volupus? Oh. What you say? What did you say? One thing for sure, our client is not the Prince of Spain. He's a delusional lunatic, or perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. Again. We don't need long for the trial. It may be an interest to confront Prince Juan directly and get some answers. Right. Are you too quiet on chit-chatting? Ask me that again. Yeah. I borrowed this book from a friend. What can you tell us about it? Don Quixote of La Mancha. It's a classic. Everybody's read it. Yeah, everybody. Well, for those who haven't... <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and summarize a great work of literature for two imbeciles who are too lazy to read. Nor would I expect you to, Monsieur. But can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library, if that's what you're asking. See, there's no library stamp or card. I assume it was acquired from a bookshop. A French bookshop, if the French translation and publishing information wasn't to give away. I see. A French bookshop Thank you. in a French city. Do you have any other questions? Or can I get back to work? That's all. Don't worry, Monsieur. I think we're done here. Thanks for your time. Whew. Then I bid you good day. I say good day. <laughs> so, uh, bookshop or talk to our homie? Uh, Let's ask about this hole so you're not a real prince thing. Yeah. He's obviously fucking Reynard Re Volpus. Also, I don't see a bookshop on our list. We do not have a bookshop on our list. <laughs> you again? This now is over. Come back later. I have no time for quarreling, Monsieur. Stand aside. You can't talk to me like that. I most certainly can. I, we have a reason to believe you're housing a suspect under false pretenses. That's a direct violation of statutes 204B and 488C of the French Criminal Code of Justice. Failure to comply with our request may result in you, yes you, Monsieur, being held directly responsible for any consequential legal action. Alright, alright. No need to break down the legalese on me. I'll open the cell. And he's escaped. Well, Falcon, how'd you memorize the criminal codes? Memorize? Oh, come on, Sparrowzone. Learn how to bluff. I rolled a 20. God damn it! Turn down your music. We know it's a fake. No, he must be the. Ah, Senor Falcon, it is so good to see you again. You have some good news about my case, I hope. Fuck you. Politely, right? Yeah. We're all gentlemen here. He still has a full choir behind, or a full orchestra behind him. So he's Listen, obviously a wizard. Quan, in order to maximize our chances of a successful trial. I need to know every bit of information. I can't work with half truths. You're going to tell me one thing about, and the prosecution's going to, to evidence tell me see the other. Then we're both in trouble. I'm afraid I don't quite follow, Senor. Do you want me to spell it out? You are not this Prince of Spain. I know your name is not Juan Jeromo. Where is this coming from? I assure you, Senor. I am Juan. Claim to be. If you want the trial to be a farce, then you don't need my help. Come, Sparrowson, we're leaving. Wait, wait, wait. Calm yourself, Monsieur Falcon. I will reveal all. Did you say, Monsieur? No. What happened to your Spanish accent? Your suspicions are well placed. <laughs> <laughs> Juan Carino is not my real name, and I am not a Spanish prince. That was his persona I concocted for the purpose of getting arrested. Why would you get arrested? What's your real name first? You know, let's see. We know it is, but... What's your real name? Eh, what's in a name? It's just an empty label. A vapid reflection of what we really are. Today, I'm Juan Carrito, the Prince of Spain. 
Tomorrow I may be Bruno Mars, a pauper living on the bridge of the sand. That hasn't changed who I am or what I do. That didn't really answer the question. No, I suppose it didn't. But you're a smart bird, Monsieur Falcon. I expect you already know my real name. Rapper. Chocolate rapper. Hmm. Yo, Renard Volpes, private investigator. Very astute. And you're Monsieur Falcon, private defense attorney. But that wasn't always your name, was it, Monsieur Falcon? Just like me, you had to adopt a new persona on a whim. You changed your name, Falcon? I didn't know that. He's actually a hawk. This isn't about me. Juan, Reynold, Monsieur, but trying to uncover the truth here. Of course. So what truth is that you're already attempting to uncover, Monsieur Falcon? Why would you want to get arrested? That sounds like a woman thing. Hmm. You're putting me in a difficult position, monsieur. No! Women go in difficult positions. <laughs> yeah, they do. If I tell you the full story, I'd be putting someone else in danger. How about this? I'll tell you a story. I like stories, especially about kinky fuckery. There was a girl, Mademoiselle, who was in a great deal of debt. Well, I like where this is going. Everyone has debt these days, Monsieur. Indeed. This particular mademoiselle was indebted to a very powerful man, and that man wished to collect her body. The mademoiselle had no means of paying, so the man offered her a deal, and by deal, I'm sure we all know what I mean here. Was the man trying to sell her a pizza? Yes. This is the beginning of every Brazzers video. With extra sausage, I assure you, monsieur. Murder this man, and I will forget what you are owed. Refuse, and I will reap what I am owed from your parents, and also you. Oh, he's gonna fuck her parents. Well, her dad's a freak in the bed. Yeah, I bet he is. Freak in the sheets? Mm. With no alternative options, the mademoiselle accepted. Are, are we gonna find out this actually it's lady to? But another man, a gallant knight with foolish archaic notions of chivalry, heard the mademoiselle's story. And see, this is why we don't trust the swan. women! It's the swan. Look how we don't trust women! The, uh, knight knew the murder was inevitable, but he saw a way to take the fall in Mademoiselle's place. This is bullshit. Do you understand what I'm saying, monsieur? Yes. I have no idea what you're talking about! Yes, I understand. I understand, monsieur, but to be honest, it wasn't the subtlest of allegories. You could have said, Women are liars, and I would have got all of your code. Storytelling was never my strong suit. No, I could tell. But uh, I'm glad you're seeing things from my perspective. Hopefully this sheds some light on the situation. Yes, I'm not letting another murderer get away. If I may ask, Monsieur, why did you not go to the police with the information you had? The police are not always an option. What is a man to do when justice system itself is the problem? Become a Batman. Swear to me. Swear to me. Um, Rachel. Is this a is this a multiple choice? My parents are dead. I'll let you know when I figure it out, Monsieur. Dwell on it. Perhaps we should talk about something else in the meantime. Nah. I can't think of anything else, you know. I don't have time for more questions, Juan. I think we've learned all we can from you now. Really? I don't think we learned very much at all. Oh, Monsieur Falcon, before I forget. Did you find Mousy and ask him whether the birds have successfully flown south for the winter? The birds have flown south? What is this? Some sort of code? The uh, racist. Or hola. But rest assured, Monsieur, what, that this is uh, does directly pertain to the case. Well, if we have time, I'll be sure to let the little one know. Let's make a move, Sparrow Son. Trial day is approaching. Gotcha. Are, are we still trialing? Yeah, this has all been investigation. But he he did it. Okay, wait. No, he said so he made God it look... God damn it, are we in the business of getting murderers off? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so now... Yeah, we're, ju we're just jacking off murderers now. Uh, no, go to yeah. R&M. Oh, so tell him real quick? Yeah, talk to Mousy. Okay, because this doesn't cost any time. Nope. Okay.
I mean, what are we doing? It's trial day. We have a Spanish prince to defend. Oh, right. What was I thinking? Uh, okay. Oh, we, apparently I was thinking that we were going to find out if the birds had flown south for the winter. Well, just like the audience, next time for us. Well, shit, son. Well, shit, son. All right. Thanks yeah. for watching. Bye. Bye.